hi everybody and welcome to another video in this video i'm gonna show you guys beginners uh, how to sort it out one of the issues that i see a lot of questions and most of the answers are too complicated for a beginner to even do that so let's say you already installed the app armor if not install it and the next application you should install is the grub as you can see here which you will find if you go to the the software store you can find it there or you can use the terminal if you know how to do it so you just go there grub and you'll see that is here so you need to install this application because this application will make your life easier to set up your up armor let me close this i already have the up armor i already have the grab customized so now i just want to check if it is really installed and just check the status because normally what happened is this when you install AppArmor, uh, you'll find that AppArmor module is loaded. But that's it. It's not active. It's not doing nothing. Most of the operation systems that uh, I've seen and I've tried, it's like that. But there are a few that it comes already installed and set up. So it's easier so you just have to run the system you don't need to make no changes because it is already done um, with the situation is a lot of people are looking for the the answers and sometimes the people who, who, who give the answers they really like to complicate a little bit too much which is not necessarily a good thing especially for a beginner so the way i'm gonna do is the easiest way for you guys what we're gonna do first is i'm gonna open my note and i will post all of this down below when i upload the video so you guys can just go there copy and paste because what what you see here is what i'm gonna do first let's start with making the changes and the changes that we're going to do is on the grub itself so i'm going to open the grub instead to go and use the terminal and use some script lines to open and then make it the changes which for beginners can be a bit of a daunting kind of work I'm going to do it here so you guys don't need to use no brackets or try to figure out how to save and all that. This way is the easiest way. So you got this here, right? We need to change this. We need to put another line, which is quiet up armor equals one space security equals up armor. That is what we're going to copy and paste. To replace this line here so that's done from here you can do some changes also for instance if we on the same storage where you have your operation system running if it's just one operation system you can untick the box and then you don't need the five seconds that they always ask you to give you so you can change something on the start of the operation system so you can just put like three it's enough time for you to change whatever you want to do it uh, from here i could go there and save straight away but i don't want to do that i want to confirm on a terminal that changes are made before i'll save it so i'm just gonna leave here and now what I'm going to do next is enable the app armor. So first, 
let's enable from here I just press enter it will create a sim link which it will trigger every time you boot your system okay next what we're gonna do is so this is done is we're gonna get this line here and with this line what we're gonna do is to confirm that the changes that we made here is going to be done on a terminal so I'm just going to paste why is this like that and that's done so from here I know the changes I made on this line are done so when I go here now instead to go to save I always like to confirm that some changes was done if I save I never know if there was any changes so if I go and close it will give me those options quit without saving cancel save and quit that's what I will, we're gonna choose save and quit now it's saving done from here what we're gonna do next is to reboot the system and then complete the two last lines those two last lines are the ones who are gonna trigger the system the second time that you're gonna uh, reboot the system or even if you log out and then you, you log in you will find that the changes are done okay so we're gonna close this we're gonna close this I'm just gonna type reboot and the system will reboot I'll just type the password and now what I'm gonna do next is just to open the terminal again let me put it here and I'm gonna open file manager I'm gonna look for this and what we're gonna do is you don't need to be connect on the internet and you don't need to have snap to install up armor a lot of people ask that question in some websites that are been watching and there is no need for that I myself I don't have snap I don't have flat pack I can even show you if I go and do snap you will see that it's nothing there if I go flat pack you will see that it's not in there okay so some people say oh you need to have the snap no you don't need none of that unless you are using the in this case if you are using Arch Linux what can happen is that your software store is not the PAMAC AUR but PAMAC all that's the difference but let's continue with this so we left on this line here right and we reboot the system now the line we're gonna use is this tiny line to confirm if is enabled on a system it says yes if it says no you did something wrong so beware double check before you do any confirmation so you don't make any mistake that may crash the system because it shouldn't crash the system if you do this way but if you make a mistake it may happen or not but just be sure of that so don't blame me next to that we're gonna do is 
to oh yeah let me just do something else so you guys can see that if you go to aa status oh come on what's happening with me it's already like that because we confirm but i like to make sure that is it is reinforced and it is done like properly so copy and we're gonna go down here and we're gonna do reinforce oh sorry i didn't I was wondering why the line is so short <laughs> So from here, I'm going to put reinforce. That is done. So from now on, if I go and reboot the system, let's reboot the system again very quickly so you guys can see. Now I'll open the terminal and then I'll just type sudo space aa dash status put the password and that's it. Voila. Job done. So you don't need to stress out or oh, I don't know how to use the terminal. Uh, I'm going to try to use Vim which is even more complicated if you're not used to and you're gonna make a mistake then you don't know how to fix the mistake and because you're doing on a terminal it can be a problem so with the customizer even if you put the two letters together you still can boot you can still go and change it and then save it always make sure that you save it if you follow those steps you will have no problems whatsoever in regards to these changes and how to set up your app armor on your system. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.